Hey everybody and welcome to the lounge, all my fellow loungers, chillers, bowlers, and grillers. Today's a big day. We're heading to North Carolina to the Outer Banks. I want you guys to come with us. We're going to try and vlog as much as we possibly can so you guys can get a little taste of what North Carolina is and why we love it so much. So jump on in the car. Oh, look, at the car tried to leave without me. Jump on in. Let's take a ride. Well, only a mere eight more hours, eight and a half hours, and we'll be there, so put your seatbelt on. Well, we just got done eating breakfast, and now we are in, I think we're in Seaford, Delaware right now. And let me just show you something here. That's what we got back there. As you can see, that's pretty much what Tom does the whole drive, so. I'm not driving right now. Somebody else is. Special guest. Um, uh, about six more hours to go, I think, and we'll be there. So take a nap if you want. I'll wake you up along the way. Okay, so uh, time to wake up, everybody. I know you've been napping here. We've been uh, driving now for five five hours so far. Yeah. Um, just let you know, see if I can show you in the mirror right there. I hope you can see it. That truck behind us is uh, Jeff, Terry, and Jesse. And uh, I took a little nap for about a second. And all of a sudden, there's a horn blaring right next to my head because Jeff decided to pull next to me and lay on the horn. Yeah, that was my nap, but somebody else. They get the nap all the way there. We're coming up to one of my favorite parts of the trip right now. I'm gonna show you in a second when we get up to it, but uh, it's a Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Uh, I don't know if, if any of you guys have experienced that or not. It's kind of cool. It's pretty cool, uh, the, the scenery, because it's going over to Chesapeake Bay, naturally. And then you go underneath the bay in certain areas too, which is really, really cool. Uh, we're coming up to the toll plaza right now. Let me show you. There it is. And I can only imagine it's probably going to cost, let's see, I think it was like 12 bucks before, so it's probably went up. Everything constantly goes up. Except for usually people's pay. And we have Easy Pass, so just kind of go right through that. And still don't know how much it costs until I see. But uh, let me show you. Here's here's what we're going to be going up on. Kind of uneventful, and there's a couple of big RVs in our way can't see yeah right now uh, pretty boring you can see a little water over here on the side it's kind of cool just to show you guys exactly a little bit of this trip I would like just, you know, to show you guys, oh, I got it way zoomed in, uh, just to show you guys the, the route that we go down. We're on 13 right now, and uh, oh, the water's really looking blue today, too. As soon as we get up on this bridge, I'm going to show you a little bit of that, and then I'll uh, turn the camera off until we go under a tunnel, but let me show you. Here we go. There's a boat going out right there. This is why I like to not be driving at this point because I get to see all the sights with my friend that drives this whole way, my special friend. Huh? I thought I heard something. You're welcome. You're what? You're welcome. I heard a voice. I don't know if you guys heard it or not. I heard something. But anyway, so this is the, uh, this is like 20, I think it's 20 miles, this whole thing. 
between you going over some bridges, you going under tunnels. I'll turn the camera on real, real quick when we go to get into the tunnel. So, till then, take a five minute nap. All right, I wanted to show a little bit of this. side of the, uh, the rail there. It's really cool looking. If you can see, this is why I love going over this bridge. You can see the boats out there. Sometimes you'll see people fishing and you can actually see them catch something, which is really cool. See that there's a boat right down at the end here. He's fishing right next to the bridge and the reason why they do that is because usually fish like structure and they usually catch fish right there of course we're not going to be able to see him because he's going to be too close to the bridge but there's some on the other side over there too that are over on the bridge uh, on that side all right we're coming up on the tunnel now as you can see there's the rocks right there and here we go. Going under the water now. Check this out. Probably get dark. There we go. So now we're going underwater. You can only imagine how much weight is on top of us right now. It's fascinating to me because it's like if any if this ever cave in, squish, that's the end of us. But it's kind of cool. And it goes all the way down here and then it comes all the way back up and then you go back up over the water. I just wanted to show you guys that a little bit. This is uh this like I said, this is my favorite part of the whole ride, so until we actually reach our destination. That's my other favorite part, so. All right, I'll wake you up in a little bit. Okay, it's been a long, long ride, and uh, we're almost there. Right now, we're almost to a town called Buxton. Just wanted to show you real quick, look. Somebody woke up in the back. Tom, been say been hi. For a while. Huh? I've been awake for a while. Oh, have you? Yeah. How long? Uh, what time is it? It's like 4.30. Uh, three hours. Three hours? Yeah. Wow. Tom's always so talkative. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not, but maybe because he only had a couple hours sleep. Well, not a couple hours. He had like five. I think so. Anyway. Anyway, it's real cool. I'm going to show you the scenery right now. Um, this is Route 12. And as you can see, there's the sound over here. And that's just a kind of a shallow body of water that's on that side but right across over here where you got these dunes on the other side of that is the ocean so it's like the best of both worlds right here and so we're gonna be coming up to this town right over here you can barely see it Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit looks like I can figure out how to zoom right up in here is a town I can't really see it even with the zoom um, and there's the lighthouse. Where's the lighthouse? There it is, way up there in the distance. So that's what we're doing right now. We are driving further and further, and we have about, I, th I think it's probably about like 10 miles to go. And then we'll hit our destination of Frisco, North Carolina, which is our favorite place to go. So, uh, no sense of going back to sleep now because we're almost there and I'm going to need you guys to help us unpack. Finally, after this long ride, we have arrived. Good, the phone's almost dead. Look, everybody else already beat us. How'd that ever happen? Here they are. I didn't really do much because we have the key. 
And here we go. All right, so this is why I want to come here all the time. Just look at this view. Unbelievable, isn't it? So that's our trip down here. Now we're going to sit back and enjoy this vacation. You enjoy uh, whatever you're doing too. But grab yourself something cold to drink. Put your feet up and relax. I'll meet you, well, at the lounge. <laughs>